Welcome to Little John's Yarns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, I'm pretty much the crochet craft review gadget queen. So if you like those type of things, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you're always up to date on all my reviews. We're going to be talking about yarn subscription boxes. I know there's plenty of them on the market right now and it might be confusing on which ones you should purchase. So today we're going to be looking at Darn Good Yarn. They sent this package here and we're going to see if it's actually worth the price. So I know as YouTubers we talk a lot so I'm going to leave timestamps right here so you can jump to exactly where you want to in this review video. Also if you stay towards the whole entire end of this video I have a surprise for you so stick around. All right let's drop down to my whiteboard and open this box up. As you can see it comes in this little sturdy purple box so you don't have to worry about any of your goods getting wet or damaged in the bad mail. So oh this is pretty nice so let's look inside. We have the yarn. We also have our, oh, look, we get a crochet hook and knitting needles. I don't knit, but I do crochet. And what else is in here? We have a booklet that tells all about what we're getting. But hey, we're going to look at that last. Let's look at the fun part. So what we came to see. First, we're going to check out the crochet hooks and knitting needles. Comes in this little package. Let's open it up. I'll show you the knitting needles first. Like I said, I don't knit, so I'm just going to give you a brief on how it feels in my hand. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love the purple. It is very lightweight in hand, but like I said, I'm not a knitter, knit, uh, a knitter, so I can't give you a great review on these, but I can give you a review on this crochet hook. So let's check this out. Oh, this crochet hook, I definitely like this. If you follow any of my videos, you might notice that I love the Susan Bates crochet hooks because it has an inline head. No other crochet hooks I've looked anywhere has an inline crochet hook head like just like this because the boy is a little bit too round. This one seems to mimic the Susan Bates, but even better. I love that pointed head where I can easily slip in the stitches and I love the inline hook where I can snatch each one of my stitches and it feels pretty nice in the hand. This is a five... I believe millimeter crochet hook feels nice very lightweight so we're gonna give this test out in a little bit all right let's check out the yarn that came with it this yarn is very soft let me you didn't notice but I just sniffed it behind the camera and it smells absolutely amazing so let's see what it says on here I'll flip it over the descriptions on the back this is a medium number four worsted weight yarn uh, roving silk yarn you can use a 5.5 to a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and for a knitting needle, a four to five millimeter, millimeter knitting needle. So this is very soft. This is made from recycled um, silk and it's roving yarn. You can see like there's little pieces on it. Each, all of these are made by an individual person, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I can tell just by looking at it, it's very even. Most roving yarn has little dips and gives all through it. But like I said, I'm going to try this up in a swatch. So we'll put this to the side. What else came in with it? Uh, we received this booklet. What's the booklet? Oh, okay, it tells you exactly who made this particular yarn and where it came from. That's pretty awesome. Oh, look at this. Okay, meet the artisans. This yarn is recycled and is made from a silk byproduct. The byproduct is often forgotten or thrown away material that is created while reeling silk cocoons. So this would actually be thrown away and made into waste, but darn get yarn recycled it. So that is pretty nifty. So what else is in this book? It gives you um, places you can go for videos, for stitch videos, what comes along with your yarn of the month uh, benefits. You can pause the video here and look at all those. And what else say? New to crocheting. I'm not new, so I can make a slip knot. Okay, and it comes, whoops, I better cover up the pattern. I'll blur that out after the fact. And it comes with a pattern for knitters and those who do not knit. Let's see, I think they have a crochet pattern on the very next page. So I'm probably going to work up this crochet pattern so you guys see what it looks like. So let's move on to the next step and work up the pattern to see how it looks. Right now I'm currently working the pattern that came with this kit and the colorway so far worked up is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera picks it up but there's like a muted sheen to this yarn. Absolutely gorgeous and it's definitely not as stretchy as wool yarn. I would consider this uh, lightweight. I wouldn't mind wearing this material in the summertime and the crochet hook is not as great as I thought it would be. It catches on this yarn a little bit. 
as you can see, if you can look at the hook closely, there's a little catch right there. When I first started, it began catching on the uh, roving wool, but the more I work with it, it began to work down. So I'm probably going to take a little point off for that one. But after working with it for about 10 minutes, I guess it like wears itself in like a new pair of shoes. So I like the hook and it works a lot better on my other yarn. So I tried it on that. And with this yarn here for roving uh, silk, it does not split at all. Look at that. It is so evenly textured. No weird gaps and dips in the yarn and no splits. All right, I'm going to finish this project and I'm going to take it up to the table and give you a better review. As you can see, I didn't make a scarf for this project. I decided to just leave it as a headband and I think I like it even more that way. I'm going to give you a quick texture shot of what this work that project looks like as I talk about the yarn. So this yarn, it is 50 grams, 75 yards of yarn. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The texture of it, it feels cottony, but it's not cotton, it's silk. It has a luster to it. It's not a sheen like a Caron Simply Soft. It's like a mix between a Caron Simply Soft and cotton yarn. That's the type of sheen I can feel I can describe it. And it's not very heavy. I would recommend this for summer projects and absolutely love it. The only con I have about this yarn, I'm gonna take a half a point away from it. It had tiny particles within the yarn itself. I'm gonna give you an up close picture of the little particles that I'm talking about. So it wasn't many of them, I was able to pick them out. And that's the only con I have for that yarn. I would definitely buy this again. Look at how it works up. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Okay, let's check out their uh, the gifts that they came in with it. I got knitting needles and a crochet hook. I'm not gonna tell you much about these knitting needles because I don't knit, but I will tell you about the crochet hook. Like I mentioned early in the video, it had a little snag on it, but once I crocheted with it for about 10 minutes, it kind of wore its way down and I was able to crochet with it easily, but I will take a half a point away from that. So if you like uh, Susan Bates crochet hooks, you are absolutely going to love this hook. But if you're a boy crochet hook lover, you probably won't like this hook. Let's talk about the price next. The price of this subscription box every single month would be $20 a month. But if you get the yearly subscription, it's 50% off. It's $10. You get the most bang for your buck. Remember, yearly subscription, 50% off. $10 a month. This yarn itself, this silk roving yarn is $14.99 absolutely gorgeous just in case they were trying to price gouge wish or not I researched other silk roving yarns for the same amount that you get and this is comparable or cheaper than most places and there are no lumps and bumps in this yarn absolutely love it and the kit for the knitting needles and the crochet hooks this kit costs $19.99 a month if I was going to pay retail for this whole entire kit it'll be over $35 and this $20. Remember, 50% off if you do yearly subscription, $10 a month. So definitely worth it. And you get a brand new mystery prize every single month. And they say everything that you get in your um, kit is uh, priced around 30 bucks. So you do get a lot of bang for your buck. Now we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of this whole subscription box. First, con. You're not gonna be making a full size blanket out of the yarn that you're getting from the subscription box. This yarn, which is, I'm sorry, it smells so good. This yarn has 75 yards of yarn, 50 grams. I made this headband and I still have this much yarn left over. And also I noticed little particles within the yarn. There wasn't many, I was able to pick it out and it didn't affect my pattern at all. Another con was the little eh -eh, snaggy thing that I caught within the first 10 minutes of crocheting with the wooden crochet hook. But after I crocheted that little snag, seemed to work its way out, and I now like the hook. This is a pro for me, because it's close to Susan Bates, but if you are a boy lover, you won't like this crochet hook. So now let's get into the positives of this whole entire kit. If you are a fickle yarn person, or you just don't know what type of yarn you wanna get, you're kinda intimidated by different yarns, this is a great subscription box for you. Me, I can go to a crochet, not crochet, I can go to a craft store, stare at yarns forever, think about getting a new yarn and just be so intimidated and never use it. With this, they send you something every single month with a pattern. Just try it. 
and if you like it you can go buy some more it's a great way to sample new yarns this is always gr also great if you're the type that loses their crojo often every single month you get some new yarn and a brand new pattern this can help get your crojo crojo back Another pro of this is the price. For 20 bucks a month, what you get compared to other um, subscription boxes is a lot. And especially if you combine that with um, yearly subscriptions when you get half off. So that's another pro. Oh, so that pretty much wraps up all my pros and cons. So you're probably ready for the craft yarn review. On a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm going to give darn good yarns four balls of yarn so if you agree or don't if you agree or disagree comment down below in the description box and let me know okay you've made it all the way to the end of this video review so here's the surprise that i wanted to give you to one of you lucky viewers i'm going to give away one of these um, monthly subscription boxes from darn good yarn all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up and comment down below. I love Little John Yarns. And that's it. And you're going to be entered into this Darn Good Yarn gift box giveaway. So make sure you do that. And check out all my other crochet gadget related videos. I'll leave all those right here. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial or review. Bye.